What's up everyone, welcome to my 8th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to make your own user-defined functions. Now, as you can see in this uh, first function we have here, all we have is a basic function that we need in every program, every C++ program, but what if we want to make our own function? Well, that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do today, and it's uh, really easy and one of the most useful things that we can learn. So. Uh, pay attention and I'll teach you. The first thing that we want to do when making our own function is provide a function prototype. And what this does is pretty much describe the C++ that it's going to be saying, hey, we're going to be making our own function. So first you type the void and then type the name of your function. I'm going to I'm going to name mine my fun. And then after that describe what kind of function it is and mine is an integer function so that's what I'm gonna put so again all this does is tell C++ alright we're gonna be making a function sooner or later and it's gonna be called my fun and typically whenever you put these in they go above the int main it goes above your main function just so C++ knows just what a uh, common practice now as you can see here is one function that we've been working on but we want to create a whole another one of these so let's press enter a couple times below that and let's get to work the first thing we want to do is define the function and pretty much make the function so type void my fun because this is the name of our function then in our parentheses we want to type int x and what this says is we're going to, in our function, in the body of our function like this, we're going to have one variable, and it's going to be called x, and it's going to be an integer variable. So whenever we make this function, watch out for a variable, know that we're going to be using it, and know that it's going to be named x. So now that we gave C++ our instructions, tell it what to prepare for, let's start making this, vari making this function. So in my curly braces, the first thing we're going to want to do, as with most of our function, is use naming using namespace std, and it's just going to say follow the standard rules. And the next thing we're going to want to do is actually build our function. And all this function is going to do, you can do yours however you like. I'm just going to make mine output on the screen. My favorite number is let me move this over so you can see a little bit then I'm gonna put X oops X and why did I put X because that's the variable I said it was gonna use and then I'm just gonna end the line so this is one of the smallest easiest functions you'll ever see in your entire entire C++ life what this does is take a variable and say my favorite number is x but what exactly is the value of x well we didn't tell C++ what it is yet so that's what we're going to do now what we're going to do now is actually do something called call our function and to do this type in your function name my fun and in the parentheses or parameters type in whatever value you want x to be in this example I'm gonna type 45 so now what this is saying is alright let's run this function use namespace my fun but it's gonna say alright what is my fun well when you get to this line C++ right my favorite number is whatever's in the parentheses 45 then end the line and then you can continue with the rest of your code so we got this function we're gonna run this using namespace do the my fun function whatever that is then you continue with the rest of your code so let's go ahead and save this compile and run hopefully I don't have any errors oops I do hold on one second while I fix this alright here's my error I accidentally uh, had a semicolon before the function name so let's go just go ahead and delete that and save it and uh, just to tell you guys
just to show you guys if you're using this with errors it says if you compile and you have errors it will show right down here so it said expected unqualified uh, semicolon before the token and that's what this is so you don't need a semicolon after your function's name I just put that because I have it so let's save this compile and run I won't have any errors now now it says my favorite number is 45 press any key to continue and again what it did was run my fun my favorite number is and then it looked right here for X and another thing you can do if you don't wanna just tell C++ what your number is you can declare a variable let's name it year num and then we can write if we want to enter our own input your num and then run the function my function with the your num make sure I have all my semicolons in and now what we do is declare our own variable that's an integer we're gonna say alright ask us for our favorite number and then once we tell you we want you to run my function and say my favorite number is X and X is gonna be whatever your number is so let's save this and execute compile and run and let's just type in 25 and now it says my favorite number is 25 and that's one way you can get input from the user to use their values or variables in a function so study this tutorials and those are two ways that you can use user defined functions either by entering your own input or getting input from the user and remember to add your semicolons and not after when you're defining the function so I hope you enjoyed my tutorials and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.